Welcome to Get Out Go. I'm Christoph and today we'll be talking about the 10 basic things you need to go camping. Camping is a great way to get outdoors with family or friends or even by yourself. Contrary to what you may believe, you need very little gear to start off with and you may have a lot of it in your house already. It is nice to have a comfortable and convenient campsite though, so today we'll be looking at the basics you need for your camping trip. If it's your first time camping, it might be best to borrow or rent some of these things. Besides getting to your destination, which is probably a video on its own, you're going to need some form of shelter. A shelter can be a tent, trailer, car, caravan, or even something as basic as a tarp or a gazebo to shelter you from the elements. Some of these may need equipment like guy ropes, tent pegs, uh, mallet, etc. Once you've chosen your type of shelter, you're going to need the appropriate bedding. If you went with a ground tent, you're going to need a mattress or a stretcher, a sleeping bag or blankets, and a pillow. If you've gone with a rooftop tent, trade or caravan, chances are it comes with a mattress already and you'll only need the other items I mentioned. The area you're going to and weather will obviously affect your choice of bedding as well. Something really important that's often overlooked is chairs. Where are you going to sit at camp? How comfortable do you want to be? How much space do you have to transport your chairs? All of this will determine the type of chair you choose. Cooking wise for a braai barbecue, you're going to need firewood or charcoal and fire lighters of some sort. It's usually a good idea to bring enough firewood for the first night and then you can probably source more locally. Find out what your firewood options are at your destination before departing. Also check with your campsite whether there are braai or barbecue grids. You might need to bring your own. For other types of cooking, you may want to consider a gas cooker. This can take many forms ranging from the basic hiking butane propane setups to the larger LP gas bottle and cooker or scuttle. If you've rented an equipped 4x4 trailer or caravan, Chances are it'll come with some form of cooking appliance. Check with your rental company. Depending on the type of cooking, you may need pots, pans and a kettle. You will also need cooking utensils, crockery and cutlery like a cutting board, forks, knives, spoons, tongs, spatulas, plates, glasses and mugs. You're going to need some form of cooling to keep your perishables and your drinks cool and some of the food frozen. Your length of stay, the campsite and type of food will determine your needs here. If you're only going for a couple of days, a good cooler box might suffice, but if you're staying longer, you're going to need a supply of new ice. A great option is a mobile fridge freezer, however you will need to buy, borrow or rent one of these and it requires electricity. Certain campsites do have communal fridges you can use as well. I'll do a separate video on overland cooling options later. Depending on how and where you camp will influence your food and drink choices. Are you taking the whole trip's meals and drinks with you? How are you going to keep perishables cool like we discussed? How will you store and transport your food? Can you buy food locally? Regardless of how you get your food in the end, you'll obviously have to plan each meal and snacks. Remember, you'll also need condiments and spices for your meals. It's really important to have enough potable water on your trip as well. Check with the campsite whether there is potable water available. You're going to need some form of storage to keep everything organized and mobile. My preference is ammo boxes, but most plastic bins will do. Once you have this sorted, it also helps you to get to camp faster in the long run as you can just grab your boxes and go. Your personal hygiene requirements will depend greatly on what's available at the campsite. Is there water? Is there hot water? Are there toilets? Are there showers? I'd suggest in the beginning to stick with campsites that have these facilities just to make it easier for yourself. That is, unless you're a little bit more adventurous, want to rough it, or have access to kit like porta potties or showers. You will obviously still have to remember to bring your own personal items like soap, toilet paper, towels, etc. Good items to have on any camping trip are sunblock and insect repellent as well. 
at night you're obviously going to need some form of lighting. Probably the handiest little light to have is a head torch as it allows you to see while still using your hands. You might want to have a little lantern as well to light up a general area or your tent. When you're camping you're obviously exposed to the elements a lot more so you have to plan your clothing accordingly. Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it rainy? And what activities are you going to be doing? Hiking, mountain biking, swimming. Also, never forget your hat. Last but definitely not least, if you're headed outdoors, you're going to need a first aid kit. I'll do a separate video later on a basic first aid kit for camping, but in the interim, have a look at resources like Overland Bound, linked below. So these are my recommendations on the basics to get you going. If you think I missed any, please comment below. I'll also leave a link to a basic uh, camping checklist in the description below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, get out there.